Welcome back to Market Minute. Today we're comparing two key players in the EVTOL space, Archer Aviation and Joby Aviation. We'll break down their latest earnings results, recent milestones, and what it all means for investors. Let's get into it. As of today, Archer trades around $9.85, while Joby sits at approximately $16.06. Let's start with Archer Aviation's Q2 2025 results. They reported an EPS of negative 36 cents, missing the estimate of negative 24 cents by around 80%. The company posted a net loss of approximately $206 million, but maintains strong cash reserves at $1.7 billion, marking their fourth straight quarter of record liquidity. This liquidity position is crucial for a company still in the development phase of revolutionary aircraft technology. Joby Aviation's Q2 results tell a different story. They reported an EPS of negative 41 cents missing the estimated negative 19 cents by over 100%. Perhaps most concerning was their extremely limited revenue of just $0.02 million, falling well short of forecasts. These numbers highlight the pre-revenue nature of both companies as they race toward commercialization. Following earnings, Archer shares dipped but remained supported by their solid liquidity position and continued R&D progress in EVTOL production. Joby's stock slipped approximately 3-4% amid earnings disappointment, despite major progress towards certification. Archer recently achieved a significant milestone, completing their longest piloted midnight EVTOL flight, covering 55 miles. This represents a major development breakthrough in their path to commercialization. The company has also attracted significant institutional interest, LPL Financial increased its stake by 30.6%, comma, while Swiss National Bank boosted its position by 42.4%, comma, signaling growing confidence from major investors. Joby achieved a historic first, the first piloted Evtal Air taxi flight between two U.S. public airports, flying from Marina to Monterey, California. This landmark flight demonstrated successful integration with FAA-controlled airspace. Beyond flight testing, Joby announced the acquisition of Blade Air Mobility's passenger business to strengthen their U.S. and European operational footprint. They're also expanding internationally with collaborations like ANA in Japan, and major investments including Toyota's $500 million commitment. What's fascinating about this comparison is how both companies are taking different approaches to the same goal. Archer is focusing on manufacturing scale and maintaining strong liquidity for sustained development. Joby is prioritizing strategic partnerships and operational integration to accelerate market entry. The EVTOL market is projected to reach billions in value over the next decade, making these positioning strategies critical for long-term success. Let's break down the key metrics side by side. Archer missed EPS estimates by 80%, but maintains $1.7 billion in cash reserves. Joby missed by over 100%, but achieved critical operational milestones. Archer completed a 55-mile flight test, while Joby achieved the first airport-to-airport -airport commercial route demonstration. For investors, these companies represent different risk-reward profiles. Archer offers the security of substantial cash reserves and manufacturing focus, while Joby provides exposure to rapid operational scaling and strategic partnerships. Both face the fundamental challenge of transitioning from development to revenue generation. The urban air mobility market represents a potential solution to growing transportation challenges in major cities worldwide. In summary, both Archer and Joby are racing toward commercial EVTOL deployment, but with distinctly different tactics. Archer leans into manufacturing scale and liquidity strength, while Joby focuses on strategic growth and operational integration. This isn't investing for the faint-hearted, but if you believe in urban air mobility, we're witnessing a pivotal moment in transportation history. Which company are you backing, or do you see both reaching new heights? The data is there, the milestones are being achieved, but the ultimate winner may be determined by execution in the coming quarters. Drop a comment with your analysis, hit that like button if this breakdown was helpful, and subscribe for more in-depth stock comparisons. Thanks for watching Market Minute, and we'll see you in the next breakdown.